Read BBS. BBS. Black Burke Sugar. Bachelors in Boxing Studies. Television. Fred Sanford of the Fistic Arts. Devin Haney. You know you done fucked up, right? You know you done fucked up, right? My man recently did a live chat with 78 Sports TV. Arguably the best boxing channel on YouTube, Real Talk. A channel I've subscribed to for several years. 78 seems like a good dude. Gets a lot of uh, high-level interviews. Anyways, Vasil Lomachenko is referenced. And Devin Haney says, I will never lose to a white boy in my life. <sighs> Why? Why, Devin? Why? Why, bruh? Why? You could have easily said, I will never lose to Vasil Lomachenko or Luke Campbell or Josh Taylor in my life. Instead, you went there. You went there, bruh. Now, I'm not the thought police, nor am I Professor Charles Xavier controlling people's thoughts. Thinking something is whatever. Your thoughts can't be held against you. But with that said, think before you speak also. Think before you speak. If there's literally Nathan positive or redeeming about a statement that's crawling around in your head, when absolutely no good can come from you uttering that statement, why? Why, bruh? Bernard Hopkins already went down this road with Joe Calzaghe and it backfired. And to be clear, I lump all of it together. Uh, Freddie Roach temporarily nicknaming Manny Pacquiao the Mexican assassin. Uncle Roger Mayweather doing likewise during his fighting days. Uh, Crazy Angel Garcia saying, I never saw a Pakistani that could fight prior to Danny versus Amir Khan. Writer Jack London labeling James J. Jeffries the great white hope, urging him to unretire and face the black first black heavyweight champion ever, Jack Johnson. Gene Tunney and Jack, Dem uh, Jack Dempsey refusing, refusing to defend their titles versus black fighters. I lump all of it together. It's all bullshit. Right is right, wrong is wrong. There's no degrees or colors to wrong. Wrong is wrong. And look, I get it. Racial or nationalistic pride is usually at the foundation of boxing fandom. Blacks rallied around Ali, myself very much included. Mexicans did the same with, uh, with Julio Cesar Chavez. I can't say I ever saw more Muslims or Middle Eastern people attend boxing matches than when Prince Nassim Hamed fought. When Andrew Galata boxed, you saw Polish flags every damn where. And that's cool. That's how it should be. A person, you should be proud of who you are, who, whatever race or nationality, ethnicity you were born as. If you don't, that's when I got a problem with you. But at the same time, don't slight other motherfuckers. Have pride, be, be, be bold in your pride and whatnot, but don't slight other motherfuckers. Do unto others and say unto others. Don't say shit about another race that you wouldn't appreciate being said about yours. It's really, that's really an easy premise to live by. It's not difficult at all. I'm pretty sure Devin Haney wouldn't like it if someone said, I'd never lose to a black fighter in my life or a black boy in my life. That's some early 1900s bullshit, bro, that I was just speaking of. And leave it there, Devin, leave it there. Now, Devin Haney, he's just 21, 24 wins, no losses, 15 KOs. He's on the short list of top young fighters in the game, undeniably. Pound for pound level talent, potentially. This won't define Devin Haney, but it'll never go away. Either. It'll be like, oh, he won this title, that title, and oh, by the way, dot, dot, dot. Before I get out of here, subscribe, comment, sharing is caring. Love tap and or bitch slap that like button for your boy. If you're compelled to donate, you can do so at coffee.com slash read BBS. Like a wise man, Hall of Famer, and former undisputed welterweight champion, Curtis Cox told me, brother, the only color that matters in boxing is the color of them gloves whooping your ass. Read BBS, BBS. Black Burke Sugar, Bachelors in Boxing Studies. Television, Fred Sanford of the Fistic Arts. When all is said and done, there's nothing left to say or do.